This is the power of it. Don't you settle for less. If you just give your best, then you will have success. Hello, rising stars. I would like to give a giant welcome to my own discovering stars. A giant welcome to the joyful stars and a giant welcome to the vibrant stars. This is Ms. McIntyre here and we just want to wish you safety, health, and happiness. So today my friends we're going to be learning all about Earth Day which is on Wednesday this week and we're going to do something called composting with me, Ms. McIntyre. So our objective for today is that we can identify three things that can be composted by the end of this lesson. We're also going to discuss what is compost. And of course, happy Earth Day from me and our Earth. So let's talk about what is Earth Day. I know we celebrate it every year. Do any of you know what Earth Day is? If you do, shout it out now. That's right. Earth Day is April 22nd of every year where we created a day designed to inspire awareness and appreciation for the Earth's environment. Earth Day is celebrated in the U.S. on April 22nd, and it is a day designed to inspire awareness and appreciation for the Earth's environment. What does environment mean? I know that it means the trees, the sky, our ozone system, the forest. What do you think? So let's get into the meat today. What is composting? I'm going to go ahead and we're going to go through this great video that's gonna tell you all about what composting is, why we do it. We are going to teach you how to compost at your school. What is compost? Compost is a pile of green organic matter, like food, garden waste, or manure, that has been mixed with brown organic matter, such as leaves, straw, or wood chips. Over time, the compost pile decomposes or breaks down into soil. Billions of tiny creatures help with this breakdown, including worms and fungus, and bacteria. Compost is very rich in nutrients and can be used in gardens and fields to grow crops and to heal soil. And why should we compost? Compost helps our world so it doesn't be all just loaded with trash. Garbage doesn't get used like compost does because garbage goes into a big pile wherever that is. These piles are called landfills. When you throw your food into the garbage, this is where it ends up. Landfills seriously affect our planet's air and our water. When sent to a landfill, leftover food, also known as food scraps, will produce a gas called methane. Methane is a powerful greenhouse gas that goes into our air and contributes to global warming in a big way. Greenhouse gases trap the sun's heat in our atmosphere and warm up our planet. Hotter temperatures can lead to melting ice caps, rises in sea level, and animals losing their homes. There is a lot of water in food. And when food scraps are put into the landfill, the water from the food combines with all the other items in the landfill to create a toxic sludge called leachate. Leachate can leak into groundwater and get into our rivers and lakes, harming the creatures that live there and dirtying the water that we drink or swim in. When we compost our food scraps, instead of sending them to the landfill, we reduce both the amount of methane and leachate created. But also, we conserve space in our limited landfills. In short, composting is much. 
All right, friends. So we're going to continue on to what are the things that we can compost. Now, we just learned all about what composting is, what we do with our compost, as well as why we compost. So I want to know what can we do in our homes to make a difference? We can compost green organic matter, such as food scraps, flowers, waste, and we can compost brown organic matter, such as leaves, straw, and wood chips. Now I wonder why these are things that we can compost and not plastic or metal. Do you have an idea? Go ahead and tell me. Awesome job. I know that these items are things that can disintegrate. So they can help animals and they can also help our environment. Whereas metal and plastic cannot disintegrate. So it, can, it doesn't, it never falls apart. So I wanna know what is an example of a food scrap that we can compost? Go ahead and tell me. Awesome job. Awesome. And we're going to learn even more. So here's your first task. Make a list of green and brown organic materials that we can compost. At this point, if you're not quite sure what, you can go back to the previous slide. Or you can go back to the movie and watch it again so that you can start writing down those green and brown organic materials that we can compost. Now, I want you to stop the video and write those down so that when we continue on, you'll be ready with us. We're gonna add it to our plan to reduce trash in our home. Okay friends, hopefully by now you've been able to write down some green and brown organic materials that we can compost. Let's see if we came up with the same ones. My green organic matter included grass clippings, food scraps, and some of those food scraps that I asked you about before could have included coffee grounds, lettuce, or any kind of vegetable, banana peels, avocado skins, and eggshells. Did you put any of those on your list? Awesome. Some of the brown organic matter that can be composted includes tree leaves, newspaper, printer paper, or cardboard. Now, all of these things can be composted because they break down easily in the environment and they are made of natural substances. Like tree leaves come from trees and grass clippings come from grass. Now, remember why we compost not only so that we don't create so much trash for the landfill, but also because it helps us to create fertile soil so that when we garden, we can use all these things that we would normally throw out as trash and we can use it to garden with it, make nice, fresh soil. What we don't put into our compost are any diseased flowers or flowers that might make something else sick, meat, butter, oil, like olive oil, dairy, like milk or yogurt, and bones, like in chicken. So here is our second task that I want you to do.
Many things in our home contain cardboard that we can reuse into other things or compost. Can you name something in your home that has cardboard around it or in it? I want you to stop the video here and go ahead and write those things down so that when you start again, we're ready for the next part of our task. Now, let's see if we came up with the same list of items in our house that have cardboard. Delivery boxes, which if you're anything like me, I've gotten a lot of lately because I'm, I'm being very safe inside my house. So I'm getting things delivered to me. So I can use delivery boxes, paper towel rolls, because inside of the paper towel, when you go through the last paper towel, you're left with that cylindrical cardboard. Toilet paper roll, which looks like the paper towel roll, but smaller, and egg cartons. All of these can be used in composting or even recycled into other things. So, we the video showed us about landfills. We know landfills are not a good thing for us to put things into. We don't want any more trash going in there. In order to get rid of the trash, sometimes they burn it, which hurts our ozone layer. Sometimes they pile it up and try to make it smaller. Sometimes they try to bury it underground. And it even can end up in the ocean. And we definitely don't want that because then all of our ocean animals will suffer. So instead, we're going to level up and we are going to start compost. Now, in my house, we do compost. We compost eggshells, leaves that fall off of our plants, as well as the tops of fruit when we cut it up. So if I have a strawberry and I cut up the strawberry, I'm going to take that little bit with the green flower on top and I'm going to put it right into my compost bin because I can use that to make good soil outside full of nutrients for my plants. All right, friends, it's your turn. Your exit ticket today is going to be three things that you learned, whoops, not in art today, but three things that you learned about compost today. You're going to list two things that you want to learn more about with what we we're talking about and one question that you have from today's lesson. I hope you guys have a great day. Don't forget to send your exit ticket to your teacher or post it onto the Google Classrooms assignment. All right, have a great day and I'll see you later. Stay safe.